Hey guys, I'm back in with another plugin. After so much digging in the Fusion scripting guide and learning from community, I finally came up with Motion Suite. Even if you don't have a studio version for DaVinci or Fusion, you can use 99% of tool without worry. So without wasting your time, let's begin. Remember, this video is just a quick overview of this plugin. More detailed video coming soon. So first you need to install the plugin and then open up Motion Suite from the script menu. First, we have this auto pivot tool, which is set pivot based on the DOD. It saves you lots of time. As you can see, there is center auto pivot tool that you maybe think unnecessary, but it can be used to calculate the average point to add pivot. Second, we have Snap Tool that can take screenshot of your selected node. If you not select any tool, it will just open folder that you have to select the folder. After selecting the folder, it will remember the location, and each time you select Tool and hit Snap, it will save a PNG of your node output. Remember to activate the node that you want the output from. Bender. This tool can help you bend things and many cool things. For now, it can output 1920 by 1080p, so you have to resize it if you have bigger and smaller comp. Join Path allows you to join your polyline length to a single node that you can control all the polygon length at once. There is many ways to use this tool. So first, you create your design, and then if you want the polyline start all at once you can select all, and then it will give you the controller. Now you can change all the length at once. But if you select an individual or a group of polyline and hit set, it will put it in a row that each polyline length start one after another. The border and the center button allows you to add control to all your border width and center so you can control all at once. Auto border allows you to set border to your object. This is also based on the DOD of the tool. You can do all sort of things. You can also increase its height and width, add musk, and other things. Path controller allows you control all the center path at once. Suppose you have many tools that move different in time, so you want them control all at once. So it will move all your object from start and end your path through the progress bar. Center point allows you to add object based on your polyline points and then you can control one object, it will update all your object in different places. So to use this tool, you have to create a polyline and add points that you want your object to appear on. Now select the nodes and select the node that want your output from and then again hit the button. Now it will open a new comp. After opening the comp, you can see the output of the tool and now drag the final node to viewer to see the output. Now you can use it in anywhere. Wiggle, it will apply to your center input. So let me show you. So first select the tool that has a center input in it and then hit wiggle. Then it will wiggle the position of that tool. You can select many tools, but remember that the node should have the center input in it. Stare allows you to control one object angle with another object's position. So first you have to select the tool that you want to stare at and then hit the button. Now select the tools or tool that you wanted to stare and hit the button. And now all the selected node will stare at the node. Orbit is the tool that can take a tool center point and rotate around that object. So first you have to select the tool that you want to orbit then hit the orbit. Then this tool add a orbit node based on the tool that you selected. And then you can use this node to orbit anything around this object. You can attach anything. Just connect the object that you wanted to orbit. Now you can move the object and connected object will follow and orbit around. Text path tool allows you to connect the text to any polyline. So you just have to create the polyline and select the polyline node and hit text path and select the text node and hit the text path again and it will connect the text with the polyline. 
and with the controller, you can control the progress of the text. Path Snap This tool can be used to create a mask with the path that the object used to move. So to use this tool, select the node that has a path modifier and then hit the Path Snap tool. Now it will produce a mask of your selected node path. Now you can use it to anywhere you want. Path Behind is similar tool that create a mask that can draw behind the object. So to use this tool, select the node that has a path modifier, then hit the button, and then it will produce a mask that will create polygon musk from the behind. Path Front is the opposite of the path behind. Auto Heading this tool allows to auto-rotate object based on the path of the object. So after animating the path of the object, then hit auto-heading, and it will set the angle to auto-heading. Trails. This tool add a trail behind the object. So to use this tool, after animating the path of the object, hit trails, it will create a nice trails. You can do all the things to modify the trails. You can use it as background of your node. Spin allows you to spin. So this tool also use DOD of object. You can just copy and paste to use it another object. So to use it, just select the node and hit spin. Now with the controller, you can change the speed. Long shadow node allows you to add long shadow to your object. You can use it in any object that has a transparent background. Swap tool swap the position and angle between two selected tool. And if you active one of two tool, it will copy the value from the active tool, and the active tool remain the same. Light Trap. This tool can take object and another object as a light source, and can use this object to wrap light around the object. Slicer tool can cut through still images to manipulate the position and can do many other things that would need much time to set up. Light swap allows you to swap lights through the object. After adding the object, use the center X position to move the light. Remember this tools will only work on the transparent object. Attach path allows you to connect polyline to center, so it will create a path that can be used to move the object. So first create the polyline and then hit the button, and then again select the object and that you want to attach, and then animate the path displacement to move the object. P tool allows you to create particle system more easily, so for the basic need, you don't have to set up node trees. So this tool take two inputs, First, you have to give the region to aim it from, that could be anything, and then you have to give it the particle that you want to aim it from. Randit allows you to randomly set inputs based on the selected perimeter, but be careful when selecting nodes. Remember that selected nodes need to have the same input that you want to manipulate. Time title, it allows to add title based on current time. In future, I'll add more of this. Lines, these tools allows you to connect object with the line, and it uses the center as reference of the object. So you just have to select the tools that you want to connect with line. Remember each node has to be a center input, then click the button and it will connect all the node with line. And you can customize this line elements as you want. All the line tools almost same, but lines for is bit different. So to use this tool first, you have to select all the tool that you want to connect. Then select the tool that you want the line that start from that object and hit lines for. That's it now, you can use this line node to anywhere you want. With texture tool, you can add texture to your object. 
so select the tool with transparent background. Now open the texture tool. Select the texture that you want to apply to your object. Now with this texture node selected, you can change the texture by selecting the texture node. Parent. This tool can be very helpful if you want to control one or many object position with one object. So to use this tool, select the parent tool and then hit the button. Now select the child node and hit the button again. Remember that each tool needs to have center input. Mirror, this tool can mirror position and angle of node. Delay, this tool can offset keyframes of your node. So every node you select, it will offset every input based on the value that you put. Effect, it has the tools to create beautiful background and bursts that you can make yourself some cool effect using this node. Text Break. This tool can separate each layer to an individual node that you can modify them to your accordingly. So first thing to remember, this tool will best work if you work with one word at a time. Type 1 is based on write on effect, it can be useful, but sometimes it not work properly. But if you don't use space and two words at a time, it should be fine. Type 2 is more efficient as it will separate each layer to individual node, but it will interfere with the position.